morning. It's been a while. You have a cup of joe? I like my whipped creamer. <sighs> I don't like it. I like my black. Like I like my uh, clothes. All black. Like Johnny Cash. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like that's where you were going. A lot of people have trouble with running. When I was uh, in my freaking, I was sprinting a two mile. What I would do, a lot of people, this is, what, this is what a lot of people in the army do, and it really grinds my gears, is they'll be slow. It pets your peeves. It really chaps my hives, all right? They'll be just, you know, having a slow pace for, the seven laps, you know, and then the eighth lap, they finally start picking it up and then they sprint that last little straightaway. You know what that sprint of that last freaking 100 meters saves you? 10 seconds. If that. All right. If that. What you got to do is you got to freaking pace yourself, a, a stronger pace. All right. When I was running in the 1130... Uh, two mile my first mile would be a solid pace that I know I could keep up for for two miles that I know I could keep up all right so it would be like oh, I think I think my first mile would be um, a six minute one mile and I was able to keep my keep my heart rate down and just stride it out like that for I could probably do that for three miles but uh, what I would do is after the first mile I would pick it up the second mile so my second mile pace would be a 5:30. Right? If you could, if you could do that, where you're running a solid pace in the first mile, and then you could pick it up the second mile. Not, I'm not saying it has to be a six minute to a 5:30. It could be like an eight to a 7:30. All right, that's that's ideal. All right, or just keep a faster pace throughout the whole thing, because those seconds will add up. If you keep a faster pace throughout the whole two mile, you're gonna have a faster freaking two mile. Whereas you just you just coast it. Well, yeah, yeah. If you just coast it and you just try to sprint it at the end, you're never gonna see no progress. It's like that's not that's not doing anything for your run time. What about like for me? Okay, I I personally I don't mind running. I really don't. But I like to run at my pace. I'm like a distance runner. You know what I mean? Okay. Are you trying to get faster run? Yes, but here's what I'm saying. Like, I know for sure I could keep the same pace up, like a pretty fast pace for me, for a mile and a half, for sure. And then once I get to that stupid, like, seventh lap, I, like, or sixth, like, halfway through the sixth lap, I just start gassing. Okay. So this is what you need to do to work on that. A mile and a half. It's point. just those two laps, and my time would be if I could if I could keep that pace up, I could be literally at like sixteen minutes, which is really fast for me. I don't know what about you. What you need to do is for that whole first mile, keep it up at a good pace. Yeah. And you say you start dialing at dialing, dying after a mile and a half. Yeah. <clears throat> after that first mile, that next half mile, you need to pick it up and try to run that next half mile in yeah. like thirty seconds faster. And then you could die out right there. And then the next time you do it, just do all the way to the mile and a half with that that first pace you're doing. If that makes sense, don't pick yeah. it up. You know what I'm saying? Just try to make it quicker. Oh, and you do so that a couple like, times, you're, you'll, you'll so, condition yourself. So keep like slow my seventh lap just a tiny bit, and then pick it back up to where I was the whole time, the last lap. Do like it on, to catch, I I yeah. I try to slow down, not very much. I really just try to slow down a tiny bit. Because I can see those numbers, and that's what makes me crazy. It's like, I, I know I could do it. I just I just need to, like, catch my breath for a minute. Like, just let me, w like, I just want to walk for, like, two seconds mm -hmm. to catch my breath. And, like, just, like, oh, man, because it hurts. So th this, is, this is what you want to do. You, you want to try to never slow down during your two miles. Right. Like, of course. all right, if you're on a treadmill, um... Obviously, put it at that pace right there, right? You're running an eight-minute mile pace. Boom. Go as far as you can with that pace. And then if you start dying out, boom, figure out where you died out. For you, it's a mile and a half. All right. Always. Just boom. All right. 
slow it down and then finish that two mile, all right? Where, where, slow it down to, you know, as, as low as you have to get it to where you're still pushing yourself, all right? The next time, we just try it again. Some of them go even a little further. But mm -hmm. if you get to that mile and a half point and you're tired, all right, you got a decision to make. Like, I it's, know. A, it's just mental barriers we got to break when we run. Big mental barriers. Like, it's easy for me to just half ass it and do a, a seven minute mile and be tired. But, but I... it's, it's hard for me to do a six minute, 615 one mile right now. But if I push myself and I put myself in the right mindset, I can do it. And I'm going to be throwing up at the end. But but I'm definitely one of those people that, especially like being a female, Ooh. like that works out with you or like that has other guys, you know, that are that I'm not as fast runner. So it really irritates me that I try. I do. Like I try. I feel like you don't realize how hard it is. It's hard. No, I know. I, I know, know. I know, know you hard. know. I know you know. But, like, you're already that fast. So, like, it's super easy for you to say, like, first of all, you're already at a faster pace. Like, you're just you're just faster. Right? So, and you just keep, you continue to get faster. So, when I'm already slow, I'm just a slow runner. And I'm trying to, like, knock the time off. You just be like, well, just do this. And I'm literally trying my very best to do that. Because I don't like to be that chick. Like, I want to be the chick that I can keep up no problem. Like, you know what I mean? Well, I, I, I mean, I understand. It's it's not easy to knock out shape points off your time and stuff like that. When Whenever I was freaking trying to get my, fat, my run time as fast as I can, I was puking. After every run, like, like wait, I was running so hard, a, like I was. You're a thrower upper, though. No, but this is not because like I'm a thrower upper. It's because I, I was running so fast, where I'm like, at the end, either I'm gonna pass out or I'm gonna throw up or I gotta stop. Like, that's just what it was. Like I was running as hard as I can. Like my two mile didn't look like a jog. I'm not saying that I'm freaking fast and all this stuff, but I was striding out i was pushing every step like sucked it sucks <laughs> but i was trying to you know be the fastest and stuff like that um, but and, i feel like i did take off like 30 seconds yeah see and i've seen you when you were running that other day you were striding it out like you were focusing on your stride you were you were focusing on shit knocking those points off I and and you knocked off 30 seconds you see what i'm saying I seen in her eyes and like she just wanted to knock those that time off that 30 seconds and she was focused on her run striding it out focused on her breathing pushing that button she was going up in speed and what do you know she knocked off 30 seconds I know but like it's not enough <laughs> it's like you just gotta keep working on it. <laughs> like I want what I want and I want it right now it's consistency though it's like I know like the run I did the other day I'm seeing like I stopped. I'm seeing results in the gym because I've been doing it for eight months nonstop now, nonstop. Whoa. Now I'm finally like getting some results and you know what I mean, kind of being able to. Like I don't know. I know what my I know how my body's working right now. I know what I got to do differently to see better results. I've been doing it for eight months now. If you take your time on on running. Like that, do it for two months, you're going to see well, a, I, a good no, another... even a month. A month, yeah. I, I literally, I watch these people on YouTube, you know, that like start out, <laughs> who are not fast runners. They just go, they're like, I'm running a mile every single day for 30 days and we're going to see what happens. Yeah. Like, they're doing it. Yeah. It's, it's gonna... And then they see results, you know what I mean? Like, but I think also too, they're trying to like lose weight. So, of course, if you're running every single day, doing that cardio, you're going to... No matter what, for 30 days, you're going to see results. Yeah. I feel like it's... But you. it's like you can't just go out there and just, all right, run at a regular pace and then boom, and then run at a regular pace. You got to push yourself to that next step every single time. Well, I feel like that people who are bigger that have that weight that they need to lose, like... Oh, yeah, they, they got to start they, differently. You gotta, yeah, but, like, I'm sure they're out there... 
the way I the way I always did my runs to not really gas myself out is all right. Monday I'll do one mile. Tuesday I'll do two miles. Wednesday back to one mile. Thursday I'll do three miles. And then one mile, and then two miles, and then one mile. And then I always go back to that one mile. I'm trying to get that one mile faster and faster. And then even on those one mile days, to even, you know, after you feel start feeling good, you know, after the second week or something, start doing sprints on your one mile day. I like spr sprints. sprints. I like how it makes my whole body feel. Hill sprints, do 30 second sprints, do, you know, freaking, uh, the army has these things called 6120s. That thing we did? Oh no, that sprint thing, beep, 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 beep. Oh yeah, that interval. That thing is no joke. There's some interval sprints well, that you can do. Well, we also did that, too. that was like the last thing we did in our workout. Yeah. So. I was dying. So, hey, we all know cardio sucks, all right? <laughs> I woke up like this. Uh, <laughs> we all know cardio sucks, all right? If I got, I got a lot of little tips and tricks that I like doing. Okay, hold on. Before I end it, here's one more. Running on a track, right? Two miles. It's probably, well, I mean, unless you got GPS and stuff. One way I would always, one thing I would always do to kind of like trick myself is instead of, you know, running four laps and being, oh, all right, that's one mile. I got a whole nother mile to go. I got another four laps to go. I would do, I would count five laps. And then after I did five laps, I'm like, all right, boom. I just got three more to go. You know what I'm saying? Like instead of, instead of four and then four, I'll be like, all right, five when I'm fresh, and then all right, just three more, and then I would pick it up, like, just because I like, yeah, I got three more, or do six and two, like, all right, I got six laps out the way, I just got two more to go. Just you got to psych yourself out in the head. I always count backwards, so that way it's like, yeah, I'm yeah, going that, down. I like, I that like to too. count backwards. I, I like doing that when I do burpees. Mm -hmm. I like like when I'm doing the first three sets, I'll count. You know, like doing four sets of 25, I'll do, you know, one, two, three, all the way to 25. And then like that last one, I count from 25 to zero. And it's always easier for some reason. I do that with every single thing. When we go work out in my head, I go, okay, 10, 9, 10. Because yeah. like, I feel like going backwards with things that are harder makes you feel like you're knocking it out. Oh, definitely. Definitely. So yeah, there's a, there's some tips on, um, <clears throat> on running, all right, doing some cardio. All right, control that breathing. You really got to push through every single time um, you're doing some type of cardio. You got to time yourself, push and freaking break that break that that wall that you're hitting. You want to just freaking hit it every time and go right through it. All right. Any questions? Mm -hmm. What? How fast was your two mile? My two mile the other day was a thirteen. 30. I'm trying to get you fast go fish. I'm trying to get a freaking something under, under 1300 to start off and then just continue to break it back down. All right. Good deal. Let's get it.